Well, welcome, everyone, to Hobart Hall and William Patterson, if you've never been here before. Um, and if you have, welcome back. Um, I want to formally welcome students, parents, and family members, uh, William Patterson University administrators, spouses, and significant others. It's very nice to have uh, all of you here, and I'm glad you could come out. Um, there are some, if you've, if you've just come in, there are a couple seats down here, and there are some in this row as well. I'm Dr. Matt Crick, Lambda Pi Eight advisor for the Beta Chi chapter at William Patterson University, and I'm a media production faculty member in the communication department. Uh, first of all, I want to let everyone know this event is being recorded for upload to NJVID, which is the university and the consortium for streaming video. So in your leisure time over the summer, you just want to see how things worked out, what really happened. You can go back and check out that video if you like. Special thanks to Dr. Diana Peck, Provost Warren Sandman, uh, Juliana Quintero, President of Lambda Paina, and, and Scarlett Ortiz for their effort and work in putting this together and making sure that we're ready um, for tonight. Thanks also to Denise DeCoff, our department, is, our department secretary, for her assistance in arranging for our snacks and traditional Lambda Paina cake, which will be out in the lobby around um, 6. I also want to thank Broadcast Production Services and the crew for helping put together the recording part, uh, Pat Ryan as well, Rod Holiday, and Tom Nemeth, uh, who will be working on archiving the video and putting it up for us later and for delivery over the Lambda Paeta web site. Right now I'd like to introduce our department chairperson, Dr. Diana Peck, without whom none of this would be possible. Ask her to bring us greetings, followed by Provost Dr. Warren Sandman. Dr. Peck. I'll be very brief. Mostly I want to reiterate the welcome to everyone here. And I want to speak about um, the importance of Lambda Pi Eta uh, to our students. Um, having an honor society reminds the students that um, when they have achieved the ability to qualify for an honor society, it is an honor that stays with them throughout their professional lives. And it's an honor that they should be very proud of. We're proud of everyone who has qualified for Lambda Pi Eta. Um, thank you. Great job. We are excited also that students come from all the different areas of the department. Uh, the National Communication Association, which is the host organization for Lambda Pi Eta, um, cuts across all of our different communication areas, and we're thrilled to have a department that combines the media production with communication studies, with theater, with other areas as well. Um, but mostly, I want to introduce our very special guest tonight, who is Provost Dr. Warren Sandman, who is also a member of our communication faculty. And so we are thrilled to have him as a member in the faculty. He is a rhetorician, which means he studies rhetoric. So he is also a member of the National Communication Association. So we're especially pleased that he could be here tonight to welcome everyone. Dr. Sandman. Well, thank you, Dr. Peck, and, and Dr. Crick, thank you especially for organizing this. This is very nice. You know, wh what Dr. Peck said is important here. I, as, as provost, I get to go to a lot of honors inductions, and they're great because everybody's having a good time, and they're a recognition of all the hard work that you as students put into this. But because I get to call myself a member of this department, a faculty member in this communication department, th this honor induction ceremony is a little bit special because I know what it means to be a part of Lambda Pi Eta, to be a member of a communication program, and I know especially what you all had to do to become part of this honors program. So congratulations once again. Thank you for having me here for this event, and you deserve all that you get from this honor and this induction tonight. So congratulations again. So 
So um, just for those of you that aren't aware of the process um, that students go through to get to this point, I'll give you just a brief sort of summary of it from um, an advisor's viewpoint for Lambda Pi Eta. So along with having the requisite GPA requirement um, and having achieved that, with everything else that students have going on in their lives, they also have to write an essay. And this was something that, um, you know, not everybody's a strong writer. They have other strengths. And so this, for some people, might seem daunting. But one of the things that I require is that you write a 500-word, up to a 500-word essay as part of the application process. And that is part of the decision-making in terms of whether or not tonight happens for you. So I will just tell you that the essays that I received on applications this term were some of the strongest that I've seen in recent memory. Um, and I take no credit for that. I think that students were just really good about doing that and putting some time and effort into it and trying to tell their story. And that idea of telling your story is really an important component of all of the disciplines in the communication department. We are trying to help students see that they are telling their story. Whatever that story is, it's your story. Whether you're sitting down in front of someone who is going to hire you or, or give you an internship, you should be able to articulate what your story is and what makes you different because they're seeing the applications piled this high. So if you're not able to articulate that, and it's, it's very nice to see that people are able to articulate that in writing. Students can do that in writing. Because if you can do it in writing, you're probably going to be able to do it verbally as well. So it was a real pleasure to read some of those essays and, um, and just feel even better about what we're doing tonight. So congratulations for some, some really strong essays. <clears throat> so just some, uh, some nuts and bolts about what's going, to, um, what's going to happen. Just a couple things I want to mention about the ceremony itself. First. Uh, to keep the ceremony moving, let's try to hold our applause until everyone has been called. I know it's tough, but if you can, that would be great. Um, second, and this is for the students, if for some reason we, we talked earlier so we know who's here, but if for some reason we don't call your name or we don't have your certificates with you or something like that, it's not a deliberate slight or anything. Um, there's a whole process in, I got the applications first, and then I asked for people to email me, and then I asked for payment and all of this kind of stuff for the induction materials. So if we missed you, I apologize. I don't think we did, but if we did, just let me know, and then we'll make sure to get you the certificate and everything um, later. Uh, but it's not a deliberate slide. I don't want you to think that. Now I'd like to ask Juliana Quintero, president of Lambda Pi Eta, to come to the podium to begin our ceremony. Juliana. The name Lambda Pi is represented by the Greek letters Lambda, Pi, and Eta, symbolizing what Aristotle described in his book, Rhetoric, as the three modes of persuasion. Logos meaning logic, pathos rely, um, relating to motion, emotion, and ethos defined as character, credibility, and ethics. Lambda Pi Eta was initiated by the students of the Department of Communication at the University of Arkansas and was then endorsed by the faculty and founder, Dr. Steven, Stephen Smith, in 1985. The Speech Communication Association established Lambda Pi Eta as an affiliate organization and as the official National Communication Honor Society for undergraduates in 1994. In February 1996, Lambda Pi Eta was inducted in the Association of College Honors, College Honor Societies, and there are currently 344 active chapters worldwide. Now, I would like to ask Scarlett and Dr. Crick to come up and join me so as we start. Um, 
Um, the first mode of persuasion is logos or logic. Um, in all aspects of scholarship it, and its application to one's life, lo um, logic plays a major role in deliberations and problem solving. <coughs> Pathos or emotional appeal, uh, the second symbol of the organization's title, encompasses a driving force that makes an organization vital and effective. The last mode of persuasion is ethos, uh, character, credibility, and ethics. <coughs> Aristotle sees character credibility as the primary means of affecting um, change in society and in one's, one, in one's life. Thus, it is appropriate that ethos is a major symbol in the Lambda Pi Eta. The purpose of the honor society, um, according to our, our constitution, are to recognize, foster, and reward outstanding um, scholastic achievement to stimulate interest in the field of communication, provide an opportunity to discuss and exchange ideas in the field of communication, to promote and encourage professional development among communication majors, to establish and maintain close relationships and mutual understanding between faculty and, and students. <laughs> and lastly, is to explore options for further graduate um, education. So as I call your name, please come forward to receive your certificate, cords, and pen. Okay. And we're going to have folks stand, or we're going to have them? Okay, they'll go back. Okay. So as we call your name, um, just start, make the circle around the front of the room and then take your seat. Vienna Castroniano. Shatira Figueroa. Okay. Kaylee Bori. Okay. Elena Grady. Lisa Huame. Jenna Capsis. Joseph Luftman. This is Joseph. <laughs> Alyssa Lacaros. Caitlin Mascola. Michelle Melly. Alexandra Metzler. Linda Mirabal. <laughs> Megan Murphy. John Nicole. Diana Oliveira. Matthew Orso. Christina Padilla. Alexa Perez. Brandon Phelps. Joshua Pika. Genesis Ramirez. Oops, I keep getting this thing. 
Clarence Steele. Gina Suarez. Jessica Toscano. Antonio Slater. Lauren Vandenberg. Amy Williams. Ian Wollston. Do I say that? No, no, no. Chelsea Zimmer. Thank you so much. Scarlett Ortiz. <laughs> I would like to ask all the inductees to please stand. Wait, hold on. They have to be pledged in. <laughs> okay. Do you accept the challenge to maintain the high academic leadership standards set forth by the organization and to serve as examples for the achievement of excellence in the field of communication? And do you promise to work toward the achievement of the purposes and goals as set down by the National Organization of Lambda Pi Eta? If so, please answer, I do. I now present to you the newly inducted members of the William Patterson University Lambda Pi Eta for 2015. Welcome, and will the faculty, administration, family, and friends please join the chapter officers in welcoming these new members. <laughs> So now I'm going to ask you guys to come to the front so we can take a group picture, please. So you guys, where are your pins? When you, I mean, you don't have to wear them now. You can wear them now if you want, but for graduation, you can have your pin on along with your pin. It's a whole thing. It's an ensemble. And wear your tassels, pin. too. Go look for those red and white tassels. Yeah. yeah. What about the fancy hat? I don't know about the fancy hat. Right. Can, can you help me just, um, we're going to try to put this in a place that's a little better for the picture. Who's in? So maybe we just turn it like this or it'll side a little bit. I don't know. For the camera. Yeah, for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Come on up, everybody. That's the price of fame. <laughs> <laughs> so where's the million dollars that comes with the 